So I'm using ozone to keep the water in this tank clean, but the Corona discharge machine that makes the ozone needs dry air. So this is an air dryer here, and the air dryer has beads in it, and those beads need to be purple, that's when it's drying the air. When they start to turn pink, you know that those beads are not absorbing moisture out of the air anymore, and that moisture can go through it and destroy the Corona discharge machine, then you have to buy a new one. So it's very important to keep these machines uh, fueled with dry air. I'm going to show you now how to uh, maintain one of these air dryers. I'm going to take this and bring it inside and dry these little pink balls. Okay, so I'm going to use this cereal bowl and the reason I'm putting it in the big mixing bowl is because sometimes I spill some and these are little round beads and they roll all over the place. So I uh, take off the top on this tube and carefully pour those beads into the bowl. And now I'm going to take this and put it in the microwave for three minutes. Okay, here we go. I'm going to put it in for three minutes. Okay, for this I'm just using a funnel like you would use to put oil in the car, but um, a clean one. And I'm pouring them slowly. If you pour them too fast, they tend to get jammed in the neck of the funnel. And the uh, potholder gloves are really important because that bowl is hot. <laughs> okay, so we put back in our little foam piece. The O-ring is extremely important here. If that O-ring is not in properly, then the air will leak out around the threads and it won't work. So you always have to test these things. This is very important. Always test it before you put it back. I'm going to blow in one end while plugging the hole. Okay, no air is coming out. But if that O-ring went bad, or I didn't notice it was missing, and I blew in there, you'd hear all the air leak out around here. You put it back in the unit and it's not going to work. That's how it's done. The O-ring will eventually go bad and when it does you can go to an auto parts store like I did, find one of these little packs of assorted O-rings and you can get one that will work. Easier than contacting the company and having them ship one. When you need it right away it's an important thing to have. If the video was helpful, please give us a thumbs up so we can continue to make more educational videos.